castles on a beach like this, it's always best to stay obviously away from the cliffs. The best fossils you'll find are right here in the shingle. We're just standing here, there's a block right there with a bunch of different traces on, some burrows, probably created by some sort of crustacean from the Jurassic. There's some fossil shells here, a piece of ammonite. It's that easy, sometimes, not always. You can practically find fossils anywhere on this beach including right here. This is a very water-worn specimen, clearly been here for a very long time. No pun intended, it's the Jurassic, it's 200 million years old, but it's really water-worn. But it's not all about fossils like this, not all about the stuff on the beach, because right behind me, right up there, you have a fantastic ammonite just ready to fall out. Look how beautiful that is. Spectacular specimen. But I'm not gonna climb up there and get that. Never ever do that. On to the next. very same footsteps that Mary Anning did over 200 years ago. This is a little girl walking along this beach, picking up fossils, finding some of the most remarkable fossils ever discovered at the time. Ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, the very first ever pterosaur from the British Isles, all in this stretch of coastline. Pretty amazing. See the smile on my face. A very tiny vertebra. It doesn't look like much, but this is a vertebra right from the back of the tail, probably from the, the fluke of an ichthyosaur. So right at the very tip. Small vertebra, probably from an animal, probably about a one and a half to two meters long. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Mary Anning, for helping me find this little specimen. As she would call it, a vertebrae. Take a close look. A little pinch in the middle. I'll flip it over as well. See how thin it is. Very water worn, but I'm happy with that. Often, when you are looking for fossils, especially somewhere like this, where it is obviously a very popular destination for fossil hunters. Sometimes it can be very difficult to find much of anything, at least something that you could easily take home. You know, if you take home those huge boulders as ammonites in. What I often recommend, and most fossil collectors do as well, is sometimes if you if you walked around for quite some time and you've not really found that much, just take a moment, take a knee, have a look down, and often you can pick up tiny little things like this. I haven't placed this here, I promise. This little one, very tiny ammonite, pyritized ammonite. Neat, right? 